appears that Prince Harry's finally had enough and claiming not any more, simply not doing any more of that. Whatever can we be talking about? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning. Nice to see you. Yes, yes, I know, I won't forget. I know you keep telling me. <laughs> I tell you what it is, though. You're always looking out for the weather, people behind you, that sort of thing. Beautiful wood door, this, isn't it? Apparently from the 1800s. And now I don't remember it being installed before you. <laughs> I know, some of you are so cheeky, you know, but it's good fun, isn't it? Always good to be able to laugh at yourself. And boy, I've had enough experience <laughs> to learn to do that. By the way, on this day, you know, in 1925, we owe this man a lot because on this day, quite literally in his London workshop, the man who created television, John Logie Baird, transmitted the very first television pictures. When you think about it, it must have been quite frightening. You know, I mean, they'd see moving pictures, but to be so reduced, can you imagine in that flat and then he puts it on and you go oh you know and this of course was the future actually really spearheaded over here in the united kingdom as many people know by the coronation in 1953 of queen elizabeth i know in america it more or less took off didn't it um, i think late 30s then really sort of ramped up in the middle 40s so you know obviously you were always ahead of the game but john logie baird was there as part of history we wish him well back as ever to your breaking roll story of the day now there are circulating stories as as one you can imagine uh, Prince Harry is concerned naturally about the high spend of money and as I've told you before it's an interesting thing isn't it because he knows nothing about money I mean nothing at all you know never managed money never really held money you know his late mother Princess Diana did try and show William uh, and Harry the sort of value of things by taking them to the local barbers and getting them to pay for their own haircuts and stuff you know she has to be applauded for that because obviously that put people in good stead and that's not mocking it's just their way of life that's the way it is but it's interesting to note that even now Harry understands the value of money because obviously security big house electric gas whatever every single bill now relies on him being able to fund it and according to a very well placed source yes there are internal shall we say ramifications inside the Montecito mansion you see Harry's not signed to the William Morris agency uh, they didn't offer that or he declined it whichever way nobody's true Truly sure but the other side of the coin the bigger picture is really this he believes that yes this should be going down a totally different route and rebranding has had enough he spent a fortune on sunshine sacks that didn't work he's currently spending a fortune on many other different things whatever people suggest it's Harry's money Megan did not come to the marriage with a lot of money not at all you know borrowed car rented flat you know very good spinning at the time but everything comes from him and he realizes that he has to manage that money now while the william morris agency might be trying to place megan as an international fashion icon or influencer let's not forget the stress patches earlier this year it hasn't necessarily been or seen an influx of offers flooding in yes there are people with money that would like that a royal association by having megan you know and i use that term loosely by the way but by having Megan say selling something but we're not talking gazillions as I told you before it's a little bit like the Amazon deal for the podcast they don't have that money you're already seen as a flop a failure so why on earth would they want to splash out more on something that's not a proven track record as for Harry literally I've been told by a very close source next to him that he wants to rein back in just focus on charitable work and more importantly building that charitable foundation apparently it's something that he feels secure with likes enjoys and more importantly sees as something for the future Megan naturally just wants to concentrate on one thing Megan it is a developing story when I know more you'll know more Neil Sean in the very heart of London